Welcome back. Now, if you're a regular ENCA viewer, your mornings are about to look a little different, but in a good way. Longtime television presenter Tami Ngobeni will be joining Gareth Edwards to bring you the South African morning from Monday to Friday. So what can you look forward to? Tami speaks to us now. She joins us in studio. Thank you so much for your time uh, this evening. Um, Tami, we do appreciate it. And welcome to the ENCA family. We're very great to have you and pleased to have you here. Well, thank you so much. Already the warm the welcome has been very warm, so Great. much appreciated. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, let's just speak about who is Tami, because I think those who are watching are thinking, okay, there's a new presenter. Maybe just tell us a little bit about yourself and, and who Tami is. Where do I begin, Heidi? <laughs> <laughs> Multifaceted. Um, media literally has been my domain for over two decades. I have worked in radio broadcasting, television broadcasting. I've, I've hosted uh, news and, and talk shows on radio. I've anchored on television as well. Mm. Uh, I'm a producer uh, as well. So content really is, is, is my heart. Um, I also host a show on another radio station every single Sunday morning, um, you know, focusing on issues of, of development and spirituality. Uh, business is also my focus. News is my focus, current affairs. But I think the line that runs through every single thing that I do and have done is a pursuit of the truth, uh, finding out what is the truth, to question things, and, and to really reach a point where we are able to think for ourselves, come to our own conclusions, and then make the decisions that are necessary to improve not only our own lives personally, but the lives of our communities, and hopefully the lives of, of our country, um, of those who are in our country as well. Certainly, and I think that's so important, uh, given that you know many don't have a voice in this country. Many rely on uh, the media, journalists, to give them that voice. And uh, it's important that you are, are joining Gareth Edwards on the South African morning, because when people start their day, they switch on the TV, they switch on the news, and they want to know what their day is going to look like, what's happening in their world. Right. Uh, you know, you, we were speaking off air now when you said, uh, I, was so, I was there so early when the fire happened. And, and that's the thing about the South African morning. It's about informing you before you hit the road, before you start the day. So maybe just tell us what viewers can expect from the South African morning and pairing up with Gareth Ed Edwards. Good luck, by the way. Look, <laughs> let, let me start with Gareth. He is absolutely amazing, yeah. consummate professional. He's so easygoing, has a yeah. sense of humor and wit we've managed to actually spend a bit of time together and and, and what a gentleman and I'm certainly am looking forward to you know spending my mornings with him and, and waking up with South Africa with, yes. with Gareth um, and so really as you rightly said it's the start of the morning you want to know what the day ahead looks like you want to know what are the leading stories of the day have your to-do list but also you want to be inspired and be in the right frame of mind to be able to tackle whatever the day brings for you whether it's your your day in the business world whether you are an academic, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, be in the right mind frame so that you're better able to deal with whatever the day has in store mm. for you. So it's very two different personalities and I said good luck, I mean, Gareth, I hope you're not watching, I'm just joking. <laughs> but, good uh, luck meant in the best way possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gareth is yes. wonderful, he, he's a true professional. But um, in terms of you know, the two different personalities, I think that's also important. Mm. And I'm curious to know what you would like to bring to the show in the morning, especially because you spoke about you know, there's one line that runs through everything that you do. Uh, it's about finding the truth. What do you think uh, or what do you want viewers to take from you as Tami, especially on the South African morning? I really want to bring myself to South Africa. Yeah. Um, because ultimately the news matters only because people matter. Uh, so the heart of the story for me is, is the people. The events can happen and, and oftentimes I think we get so caught up in the events, especially with rolling coverage and rolling news, that we don't take the time to pause and we don't take the time to interrogate the truth and find out in the midst of all this chaos, what actually is the truth? Is this actually accurate? How does this impact me? How does it affect me? How does it affect my, my community? So I really hope to be a companion. For, for South Africans. Let's question together, let's think together, let's grow together, and let's provide a platform for people to come to their own conclusions. And as the, the slogan for ENCA goes, think, you know, question, think, 
act and, and, and I hope to be part of that journey along with, with our viewers every single morning. Certainly, and I think, um, you know, social media can be very toxic. Uh, currently, there's a full-on debate about, uh, you know, how journalists covered uh, the fire in the CBD and we're not getting to the heart of the issue. Um, and I find what you say so important in terms of really getting to the story because you know, when there's breaking news, it's very difficult to just stop for a second. Um, and for example, I was telling Herman Mashaba on air, I said to him, you know, it, it was so difficult as a journalist to go into an environment like that where you can actually, and I'm going to be graphic and I apologize for this, but where you can actually smell human flesh that has burnt and you are seeing bodies absolutely everywhere. I've never seen something like that before. So. Um, it's so important to get to the heart of the story, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And you were fantastic. I mean, you, you really were. I, because I watched the more you were there, you were there bright and early. You know, you were asking uh, the right questions. And I mean, you did actually speak to one of the women who was telling you about her child saying, why are you always locking the door? Um, you, you know, and she had to run out and she only carried her baby. But then there were other kids that, that were also missing. You know, being able to talk to the people who are involved mm -hmm. in, in, in the situations around us. And, and, and it is a collaborative effort, but I think it's important for us as journalists to set the, to set the scene, uh, to give as much information as possible, and to allow viewers to come to their own conclusions, but also to ask the right questions and to interrogate and, and not get caught up in, in the narrative of the day. Because it's so easy for us to all be on one bandwagon, but we do at times really need to pause and, and question because only then do we get the, the sanity and the peace and the presence of mind to be able to own the moment, yeah. to own our own thoughts, and then to own our own actions. Only then are we able to transform ourselves, our communities, and our country. Certainly, and just very quickly, I've run out of time, but I'm curious to know how you're going to wake up. When I'm assigned at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm literally a walking zombie. So I'm curious to know how you're going to wake up because, you know, people actually forget about what goes on behind the scenes and the preparation. I mean, we have to go to hair and makeup. We need to prepare for the show. We need to prepare for our interviews. Are you ready to wake up at what time? 3, 2? Three, 3 o'clock, perhaps. Yeah. But, but for the past 17 years, I've hosted a radio show every Sunday morning that requires me to be at the studios literally by six it's on air so I'm kind of used to waking up early in the morning but that's once a week so now <laughs> I think I've got to really change my pattern make sure I sleep early and I put cucumber under my <laughs> eyes <laughs> make sure I'm not all puffed up in the morning yeah. but um, it will take a little bit of a change but mm. you know this is where the discipline has to come in right you'll be fine yeah, we, we so. look forward to to having you on on ENCN you Thanks, will start Heidi. on Monday right yes okay. bright and early yes bright and early mm. at uh, six o'clock with Gareth Edwards that was South African morning new host uh, together with Gareth Edwards that was Tammy Ngobeni that will be joining us on Monday